I feel like Oprah. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, X Stitch and Chill. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to make it to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So you can help me make dreams come true by hitting that subscribe button. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kelsey and I am a cross stitcher and this channel is all about cross stitching and the movies, TV shows, chill things that I'm doing while I'm cross stitching because I have to do something while I'm watching TV. Otherwise I will eat all the snacks and we can't have that. And just a quick reminder that I am on Twitch. If you want to stitch with me live, we are pretty chill, mostly just stitching and chatting. Everyone's always working on something and I'm usually rambling about something. So it's a really fun time. You can check me out again on X Stitch and Chill on Twitch and follow me along there as well. So I know this one is pretty quick from my last floss tube. Typically I do it every two weeks, but I wanted to update you guys on my projects before I head out for a couple of trips. So I will be in the mountains for the 4th of July and then I am going on a trip all by myself, all alone with no one to ask me questions or what I want to do, what I want for dinner. I'm just, I'm just gonna be by myself and I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. And it's a dream come true. It's absolute magic. <laughs> but I am really excited and hopefully I will get some stitchy progress. But with that, I won't have a floss tube for another couple weeks. So I wanted to make sure that I got in a quick little update before I left for a little while so we wouldn't have so much to share when I get back. But for things to share today, I have an FFO. I do have an FFO and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I stitched this one for my daughter and for Pride Month. Uh, she was very excited about the goose. Um, I have mentioned the other goose pattern that she has done and someone in the comments asked about it and I, it's not available anymore from who I bought it from. So uh, sorry if you were trying to find it. <laughs> Um, but I do have this one and it is by Fine Frog Stitching and it is their progress goose and I have it all nice and finished and in a frame. Look at me. Look at me FFO and stuff like a pro. I just got this frame at Michael's. They were having a sale and it's going in my daughter's room and her room's a mess all the time. So I don't want to get anything too nice. <laughs> Um, it's super cute. It's been actually living in our living room for the last couple of days since I gave it to her. I did record her reaction to opening it, but she already knew about it because I'm an idiot. So <laughs> I was really good about like not taking pictures of it and having stuff on my phone. And then I took a picture when it was done and I sent it to my mom and I was like, mom, I finished it. And then she picked up my phone and got into my photos and she saw it and she was like, oh, that's cute. Who did that? And I was like, Ugh. I got so mad because I was so excited to like surprise her with it. And uh, she figured it out. So I framed it anyway and gave it to her and I filmed her reaction, which was not as great as I would have hoped, but I will put it here just so you guys can see the excitement about her progress goose. And open your eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at it. Baby. Love it? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So way to go me. Spoil the surprise. I had another thing to show you guys that uh, I didn't really plan to show you, but we can do whatever we want here. Uh, but my mom recently drove back from Florida uh, where they live half of the year and she brought me back a stitch I had stitched for my grandmother and sadly my grandmother passed away uh, last year so um, when they cleaned out her apartment they uh, saved this one for me so this was maybe like the second or third cross stitch I did when I picked it back up um, like back in 2021 and I was looking at it and I was like oh gosh I did so good look at these neat little stitches the framing not so much I've learned a lot about framing <laughs> since then but this is what I stitched for her 
So it's a little um, folk design of these two little birds and it's super cute. I did this so long ago, I don't even know uh, who made it. <laughs> I don't know who the designer was or where I bought the pattern or anything, um, but I did really like doing this. I remember I messed up on one of these hearts up here and I had to like completely frog it because it was one row too far down. But yeah, I really like this one. I think I'm going to hang it in my office. Uh, the colors kind of go. I have this like kind of like peachy red in my office. Um, in some places. So I'm definitely gonna hang it up and think of my grandma every time I see it. So I'm glad that this got saved and returned to me. All right, so moving on to um, my whips. I only have a few. I haven't worked on a ton since I saw you guys last, um, but I do have some fun progress. So the first is my bag um, that I'm stitching the plants on. And I love this bag because it's like a project bag and because I can fit everything in it. So it's like a project bag and a project all at the same time. <laughs> um, but I think last time I saw you guys, I had finished the first plant and then I had started the second plant. So I'm not finished with the second plant yet. It is the biggest one out of the three plants. Um, but here is where I'm at with it. So I'm kind of worried it might look funky depending on where the other one turns out, but it's okay. It's all okay. I'm still pretty happy with how it's turning out. Um, and I am pretty happy with this, with like, I'm happy with how it's turning out. Some of the stitches are not perfect, but that's okay. I don't think you would notice unless you were like really looking at it. Um, but yeah, so once I finish this plant, I will move on to the other side which is another plant that's pretty similar to this one. It has like the same pot kind of. Um, and then it also has like things coming out of it. I don't remember what it looks like, <laughs> obviously, but I have been enjoying working on this one. It's kind of nice. I've been taking it to like the pool because it's small. And then, like I said, it's a project bag within itself. It all just fits in here. Um, so yeah, it's been a good one. I've been enjoying working on it. My Ada is kind of getting messed up. So hopefully the fabric underneath is not getting messed up and we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and we're going to cross it all together. <laughs> Next, I'm going to share my, um, heart of the summer stitch. So we are doing this, um, as a group with some of my Twitch friends and we are all doing a heart for each season and we're stitching it in that season. So right now we're on summer. We already did spring. Um, and last time I talked to you guys, I said, I wanted to get to a quarter finish on this and I did. I'm at 27% right now. So yay me. <laughs> um, so this is what it'll look like when it's done. And here, Here's where I was last time. And here's where I am now. So I've got like the top corner motif done with the lighthouse and the tent and the fence and everything. There is some backstitching that still needs to get done on there, but I'm gonna do all the backstitching at the end just because that's what I did last time and I felt like it was pretty easy. Um, there's not like a ton of backstitching, so it was fun to get like this lace down here with the lace and the hearts done. So uh, now I can just kind of fill it in uh, with the same color that's the sun is what color the hearts will end up being. Uh, so yeah, loving this one and looking forward to working on it. My next whip is the ever-present uh, Farming Magic Stitch Along from Flossy Fox Shop. And I still have part five. <laughs> It will never be done, um, but I'm working on it. I got some progress on it the last time I was at the gym with my daughter. So um, this is what it looked like last time. Um, I'll show the whole big thing maybe another time, but this is just the part I'm working on is part five. And this is where I am now. So, you know, we're getting there. I got all the yellow on there and now there's like some blues in the windows. There's some black and brown right here. And then there's still like a ton of stuff up here, like clouds and stuff. So yeah, it's just, and there's still like a bunch of the roof of the barn that still needs to get done. 
So yeah, I am very behind on this one, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Just keep stitching on it. I think I'm going to take this one on my trip um, so that I can kind of catch up on it, hopefully, <laughs> while I'm gone because I'm on part five and part seven will be coming out when while I'm there. So maybe before I leave. <laughs> So yeah, I really need to catch up on this one. So I'll probably take this one to Florida with me and work on it so I can finally catch up. Um, even though I really want to bring other whips, but this one's like nice and tiny and easy to carry around. And yeah, this is probably the best one. I'm going to bring extra needles this time. So I don't, uh, if I drop my needle on the plane, I will have a bonus needle. So I got that going for me. And my last whip is probably the least exciting progress <laughs> that I have had, but uh, it's my Schitt's Creek Landmarks, which will look like this. And uh, this one's by Stitchy Time Designs. And it is, I'm on page four and it is a beast. I've been stitching this brown color for what feels like forever, uh, but it's really good. It, I'm almost done actually, I'm almost done stitching this brown color. So um, this is what it looked like last time I saw you guys. I'm not sure I worked on it all that much, but I don't know. I never go back and like look at where I was before and then I just put it up there. I'm like, this is what it looked like. <laughs> so I don't know until after I'm done filming what it looked like. But anyway, uh, this is what it looks like now. So we are still plugging away at this. There's only like right here left of these brown stitches. So huzzah, <laughs> it's, oh, we're almost out. But then it's just like a bunch of this blue, like all the way down. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of a boring um, page of this, but that's okay. Cause it's kind of nice. Like when I really want to just like zone out and stitch this is this is the one that I go to because um, it's super, super easy, lots of color blocks and not too much trouble. So that is my last whip I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, those are the ones that I have worked on from the last time we talked. Um, I don't think I had any progress on Biscuit Mill or my F1 tracks or, um, I did stitch on my temperature stitch, but I'll share that next time when I'm further along. Uh, I'm pretty caught up on that one. All right, so moving on into haul, I only have two things for you today, but I'm very excited about these two things. So the first is I was at Michael's and I walked past this display and they had a bunch of these little wooden uh, perforated things. So it's just like, uh, a little piece of like bamboo or wood or something like that and then it's got all the holes in it hi um, and i thought it would be cute to cross stitch some coasters on these uh we have coasters but they stick to the bottom of your glass all the time and my husband it drives him crazy and then instead of buying new coasters we just deal with it apparently um so i am looking forward to uh stitching some coasters on these I got these cute little patterns to put in them from Sam X Stitch on Etsy and their little cats and plants. Um, I'm pretty sure this is, might be 14 count. It says 11, so it might be 11. So I might have to like rethink my whole life once I start this <laughs> and do something different. But I'm hoping that the cats will fit on there because they're pretty small. On 14 count, they're like three inches and these, are about four inches so we'll we'll find out it will be an adventure that we all have together um i am going to put some like cork board on the bottom when i'm finished and then the only thing is that i'm trying to figure out what i could put on the wood or over the stitching or something to protect the wood because like the stitches getting wet is fine uh, I mean, we live in Colorado. Our glasses don't sweat all that much, but um, we, I want, I want to protect this wood because I don't want to spend all this time stitching and then it like dissolves and like all the stitches just kind of like run together. Um, 
So if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments because I am not entirely positive what I'm going to do. I might like treat it with some kind of like um, epoxy or like stain sealant or something. I'm not sure. So if you have any ideas, if you've stitched on something like this before as a coaster, I would love to hear about it. Um, yeah. So just find me, find me in the comments because I need some help. I have some ideas, but you know, I'd like to learn from the wisdom of others. Um, if you're interested in getting some of these, they are at Michael's and they were on sale. I don't know anymore, but they had tons of shapes. They had circles and squares and butterflies and all sorts of stuff. And then they had some big ones and some little ones, um, hearts, that kind of thing. So uh, if you're interested in those, that's where I found them. So my future plans, I'm going to put out some lofty goals because I will be back for another couple weeks uh, with an update. So I want to be 50% done with my heart of the summer stitch and which I think will be okay because I like stitching on that one and I feel like that's the one I pick up the most. Um, Besides my bag, which I would like to finish by the next time I see you guys, I will likely take that on my trip as well, just because it's like all compact and great. And I would like to finish part five and start part six on my Farming Magic Stitch Along. I really need to catch up. <laughs> um, just because I want it to be done in August so that I can move on to another project. But yeah, that is the goals for the next couple weeks. We shall see how we do. But that is all the stitching stuff that I have for you guys. If you were just here for the stitching, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Like I said, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and you subscribing helps me with that goal. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and hearing all about my stitchy craziness. For the chill things, uh, I don't have too many chill things. I don't know what I've been doing. I feel like I've been at the pool a lot and uh, you know, it finally stopped raining. It's finally hot here and uh, it's been nice. We had like some crazy severe weather though, like where we used to live in Colorado. Uh, a tornado hit and that was like right after I told my daughter like oh I lived in Colorado for like most of my life and then the tornado has never touched down where we used to live and everything we're gonna be just fine and <laughs> I mean it wasn't like like houses are not gone but you know fences patio furniture there's a couple lights traffic lights that were down um, there's lots of mature big trees that are down or broken in half. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot to clean up over there, but luckily it wasn't too wild, uh, but it definitely wasn't good. Uh, and we had the same shelter in place tornado warning that we had to do because they, um, it, they said it was coming right for us or like it's hitting this and then it's coming to there and then coming to there. So we had to go hide in the basement and I had to be like super chill because my daughter was freaking out and I'm internally freaking out. I have always been afraid of tornadoes and weather. <laughs> so I was trying to be like, cool, calm, collected. Oh, we'll just go and hang out in the basement. We can watch a movie. <laughs> and internally I was like, oh my God, we're going to die. <laughs> we were fine. It never really hit. We did get really bad wind and rain and everything, but, um, no damage or anything. So yay. Anyway, that's not really a chill thing. Just a little story. Uh, but that's the reason why I don't have too many chill things because I feel like I haven't really been watching TV very much. Um, I feel like I haven't been stitching all that much either. Um, but anyway, we finished the silo on Apple TV plus as you can imagine, it had some crazy like cliffhanger ending and we're like, why, what, what's going to happen? Um, but definitely a cool show. One of the things it does that a lot of shows like that do that bother me though, is that like the episode feels pretty boring. Like nothing's really happening in the episode. And then at the very end, something crazy happens and you're like, oh my God, I got to watch more. Like you sat through the 45 minutes for the exciting 15 minutes. And now you're like, Oh, I have to see more. And then you're going to sit through another boring 45 minutes and exciting 15 minutes. Um, 
it's just the pace of that type of show, which always kind of annoys me, but it's fine. It's really good, like the mystery behind it and everything. And I think that season two is gonna be really exciting because you're gonna find out a little bit more um, outside of the silo versus what's happening in the silo. Definitely has been worth the watch. Silo on Apple TV Plus. In other crazy news, I finished a book. I have not read a book in like a year. So <laughs> feeling really good about myself uh, finishing a book. Last time we traveled, I don't remember where we went, but um, oh, I think it was on our way back from the UK. I had dropped my needle on a flight. And so I was like, well, what am I gonna do for the next flight in this five hour layover we have? and I went and bought a book from one of the bookstores. Um, and I read it and I finished it and it's a miracle of miracles. <laughs> so I read This Woven Kingdom, which is by uh, Tahara Mafi, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but um, it was a great book. It's kind of a Cinderella, retelling-ish kind of story um and I really liked it it's like two different characters so it's told from their two different perspectives like then switches every chapter um which I've read a lot of books like that and um I have liked um she also wrote one of my other favorite book series uh the Shatter Me series um if you've seen the covers you'll know <laughs> what one I'm talking about has like eyeballs and they're like big and crazy. So there's six books in that series and there's another book in this series um, that is out, but I am just going to take a little break from it instead of reading them back to back because I always regret that. I'm always like, I can do it. I can read them back to back. But then I'm always like, Ugh, I'm tired of being in this world sometimes and I want to be in a different world. So with that, I did buy a new book to read. Um, it's called Stars and Smoke and it's by Marie Lu and she wrote a couple of my other really favorite books um, Sky Hunter and the Prodigy Prodigy series, which is another one that's written from the two perspectives each chapter um, So I have started that one I'm only a couple of chapters in but it, it's like already like grabbing my attention and exciting and I really like that about her books um, they really like Pull you, they pull you in really easily. <laughs> um, so I'll be reading that while I am on my trip and this weekend up in the mountains. Um, hopefully I can finish that eventually one day and I can move on, I can read again. Oh my gosh, it's like craziness. <laughs> and finally, I have still been watching The Great on Hulu. It's a little harder to watch because it is not safe for family. <laughs> so I have to watch it like Usually when everyone, when my daughter's asleep or when she's like completely gone, like at a friend's house or something, I can't like put it on if she's like walking in and out of the house um, because it is not, not okay. <laughs> it's very raunchy, but it is really great. So if you haven't watched The Great, you should because it's super funny. Um, and with that, I think that's everything that I have to share with you. Uh, my camera battery is still dying, so I'm going to try and wrap this up really quick. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back in a couple weeks with some more Stitchy updates. Please subscribe if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. And we will talk to you guys soon. Bye!